my name is gagan prabhu i primarily grew up in dubai so i did my high school in dubai then i moved to do my undergrad at nit warangal so i did my undergrad in electrical and electronics engineering worked for a couple of years in india before i moved to do my masters at northeastern university in boston united states where i did my masters in engineering management with a specialization in economic decision making when i was thinking about masters of course uh, the top countries pop up australia uh, europe that is germany uk uh, canada us i eliminated australia was because i was not really interested uh, very, being very honest the climate and the time zone difference was not something that i was keen on so i never related to that so i decided against australia uh, coming to europe uh, i was very close to between um, Europe or the Americas that is either America and Canada or UK Germany uh, but then i decided i felt uh, america has most of the fortune 500 companies most of the biggest organizations are there most of the high end projects the tier 1 projects flow from america most of the business is done from american side of things so i thought being in that side would be more helpful in like growing my career so uh, and plus the second most important aspect was the fact that if you are in a stem program in united states you get 3 years of opt so basically once you graduate you get 3 years to find a job uh you get 60 days to find a job but you get 3 years to work uh, maybe recover the loan money that you have paid for your masters and hopefully the employer sponsors an h1b so that was the biggest uh, uh insight into me taking united states uh and uh, Yeah, that's where I decided to come. So there's a couple of things. So when I graduated from NIT Warangal, of course, uh, being a 21, 22 year old, you're not really sure of what you want to do. Uh, got a software job because that's what everyone gets pretty much coming out of an engineering college, despite being in a core field. Um, thought i would give it a shot for a year uh, so i started working at capgemini as a software developer 6 months in i realized uh, even though i was good at coding i didn't really like it uh, because um, didn't want to you know make, make it didn't make me wake up in mo- on monday mornings and be like hey i want to go to work so uh, then started uh, talking to my manager uh, we had a little bit of uh, roles and responsibilities changed over there where i was working more as a functional a uh, person techno functional person who would like take relay the requirements from the client and come back to capgemini i started understanding i have a more uh, business acumen towards uh, problems or solutions or i understand the business side of things or revenue generation side of things much better uh, applied for a ba role just as an experiment worked at a startup for a few months realized that i actually like it so that's when i decided to take up uh, my masters in engineering management because it was a good mix where you could get into business roles uh, but you are in the tech field so basically you are making revenue uh, generation impact or strategic impactful insights for tech technological companies and that's where i ended up i work for dell uh, right now in the strategy supply chain side of things so yeah it's that's that's been the career path i would say i applied to 12 other universities uh, of course uh, it's uh, decided between like uh, split it by 30 40 30% of like a uh, uh, high what is that moderate low risk and high risk so basically ones which i can pretty much easily get into ones which i might get into ones i definitely will not but then just to give it a shot ambitious ones so uh, why northeastern out of all the ones which the admins rolled in and everything came in a uh, couple of flavors to it one is uh northeastern universities in boston so just being in a metropolitan city i really wanted to stay in a city i did my undergrad from a place which was really far away from the city and i really wanted to experience a university life being in a city so that despite the cost being high that was a risk i was ready to take and the analysis behind that was hey you stay closer to city more opportunities to network more people to meet uh more companies to interact with so that was the first thought process behind northeastern uh the second thing was the coursework so there were a couple of subjects that i looked at at northeastern and i was extremely keen on taking 
I did re- I did see the professor's uh, profile on LinkedIn as well as their research they were doing. I'm not a research kind of person, but I really liked the way they were able to explain what they were doing and what they were saying. So definitely just learning under them, taking a course under them for a semester mm-hmm. or two would have been really beneficial and where I want to take my career. So I would say those were the two main reasons why I chose Mathista. When it comes to Northeastern, the admission process for especially for engineering management is slightly easier. Uh, like even though the rankings of Northeastern is higher, because the fact is uh, there is about nine different tracks that you can take in Northeastern when you do engineering management. For example, you can take the data analytics track, you can take the economic decision making track, you can take the supply chain track. Uh, there's multiple different tracks that you can take that you go into. So. Um, the admits is based off what track you want to get into eventually. Uh, so some of the students that come here as well, they choose once they get in as well. So there's a lot of opportunity. So it just depends on where you show your interest and where exactly do you sit in those tracks. If you could like put that in, I think your admissions should be fine. Um, competitive scores, I believe anything about 310 on GRE, uh, 100 plus on TOEFL should be good enough to get you an engineering manager. My course fee, uh, so my per credit cost was $1,600 approximately. Uh, we had to take 33 credits and uh, there were some, uh, there's some fees for like, you know, using the recreate, it's called recreation fees for using the gym and those kind of things. There's some student activity fees that gets collected. There's the insurance as well. Um, all in all, per semester, it adds up to around $16,000. So you can assume to be around $60,000 for like a four-semester four coursework at Northeastern. I paid completely from my own pocket. Uh, the Northeastern is one university where I believe for grad students, that is for masters, they do not offer any scholarships. So uh, yeah, so there is no form of scholarships available for any grad students coming in into Northeastern University. But I did get a little bit of support uh, because uh, when I was doing my uh, grad school, I served as the president for a couple of years for the grad school. So when when you serve as a president, you get a little uh, a little bit of help. It's it's a bare minimum scholarship, but yeah, that did help a little. Academically, uh, coming to engineering management very specifically. Um, there is an opportunity to take a wide variety of courses. It just depends on where you want, where you see yourself, what skills you want to pick up, what are you actually interested in. Um, so there were some courses which were extremely nice. There were like some courses which gave insights into things which you wouldn't even think of. Like for example, I took a course about uh, how Uber does its search pricing or how uh, flight prices change day over day. So. Uh, but from a very business kind of point. So how do you like model these things and how do you bake these numbers in day over day when it changes? So those like, and you don't need like hard, hard coding skills or something like that to understand. You just need to have a good understanding of how any business works or how numbers work around there. So academically, I feel Northeastern is really good. Um, there are, of course, uh, not every university is perfect. There are some courses which are average or maybe some professors which are, uh, not that great to sit with, but then uh, it also depends on what your goals are. So if you are, I would say like most of the students who come here, some of them like they're here to like nail down a job or they're nail, here to nail down a co-op. Academic is not your that much of a first preference. So uh, if that's the case, then yeah, there is an option for you to choose professors who are much more lenient. There's much more ease for you to like, you know, uh, just uh, do the bare minimum to get through the course and focus on your other goals. But if you are interested to like understand, like for example, if you're taking project management and you want to understand what actually goes into a Gantt chart, what actually goes into a WBR, like uh, there are professors who spend a lot of their time, like, you know, explaining it, giving you assignments, making sure you come out of the course knowing what exactly it is. Um, They have a concept of office hours. There's a lot of TAs on ground, which they hire. So uh, academically, it just depends on where depends on where your goals are. So you can definitely align yourself based on what your requirement is coming here and what your ambitions are after coming here. Uh, non-academically, uh, I think Northeastern's great. Uh, they all 
like we have about uh, about 90 grad clubs on ground which are like about i would say more than 50% are active throughout the year uh, there's about 300 400 plus undergrad clubs as well so uh, you can go to the events you can attend uh, northeastern encourages a lot on terms of like doing co-ops that is uh, doing your internships trying to like nail down internships wherever they can they give a lot of support to like career development and making sure you're perfectly aligned for it uh, uh, the gym facilities the recreation facilities are amazing northeastern's in the middle of the city so uh, having a social life is like pretty easy so there is no uh, difficulty in that just uh, uh it comes with its cons that hey the university is much smaller compared to a lot of other colleges so if you're looking for like a massive 1000 acre university you're not going to get that because uh boston is a uh, northeastern university is in bang in the middle of boston so yeah it's it's the trains run through it the cars are running through it the highway also runs through it so it's 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 right in the middle of everything so yeah first few semesters uh first semester especially was very tricky i'm not going to lie uh coming to an, a country where you don't know anyone you absolutely have no idea about what's happening uh i i would say i was not particularly good with networking uh i didn't like the i see a lot of my friends come in or a lot of the students that come in nowadays they're really good they know they've already reached out to a lot of people they met on linkedin or they have already synced on whatsapp uh, or discord or whatever resources they use and they've um, set themselves up to you know know people when they come here they meet people so when i turned up like um, it was kind of really difficult to find people because that what the social media the social part was not there our post pandemic things have changed and like people have gone more online than they supposed to be um it it kind of gets tough because you're trying to adjust to new surroundings uh, you're trying to understand how do you pay how do you rent a room how do you pay electricity how do you pay water uh, how do you even do like laundry how do you like source money for it um uh, searching for an on campus job uh, but then overall i think uh, northeastern was uh, super helpful in like uh, getting helping me through this uh, they have a lot of resources got a good on campus job most of the people who study here get an on campus job so it helps you supplement uh, some of the financial burdens that you have uh, you move there is a lot of housing available uh, there is a lot of administrative staff as well as uh, uh, students on ground as well as professors were very helpful so uh, just integrating into the culture getting to know um uh, was pretty awesome and uh, yeah apart from northeastern i think uh, just because how uh, the culture in united states is uh, people love traveling there's a lot of places to go so uh, been traveling a lot uh, meeting a lot of new people uh, just exploring as things go uh, made a good good set of friends so we used to work really hard but we used to party really hard as well so uh, good eclectic mix i would say of things uh, but then overall yeah, i i wouldn't change anything for what's happened it's been a great experience i worked in the finance division at northeastern university as a as an operations uh, administrator initially then moved up to an operation consultant so um now the here the most important part is like on campus jobs for example like i've sat in places where people have uh, sent in resumes to get interviews or when i was moving out of there so uh, for one opening at northeastern there's about 200 to 300 applications so uh, like sometimes people's resumes don't even get looked at uh, what's uh, crit and how did i get this job was very simple uh, before i came for my masters i realized there is a uh, an opportunity for like if you know certain skills that will get you on campus jobs the certain skills i would say is uh, wordpress website development very easy to pick up it's literally drag and drop like you can develop a website within a day uh, but a lot not a lot of people know it and there is opportunities because pretty much everything there is a website for it so you need someone to maintain these websites uh, adobe illustrator adobe photoshop a lot of marketing teams need these skills like and a lot of people don't know that uh, most of the students who come here are from engineering backgrounds they do not they do not learn these skills but if you have these skills which takes uh, you don't have to be like an expert at it but spend some time understand how it works uh, 
you're definitely you just develop a few maybe posters or logos or those kind of things will help you get your uh uh jo- work out there and maybe get an on campus so when i applied for this job i literally said hey i've de- built and developed this website from scratch uh, if you're interested like we can check it out and talk through how i did it um got a call then got the on campus and like i continued to stay there for pretty much my whole course uh my manager uh, erica who i worked with for a very long time she actually became my mentor and i continue to like look up to her and we still stay in touch so uh yeah it's it's all about being prepared i would say uh don't be reactive to such situations be proactive so think about what are the skills that are required maybe it doesn't have to be for your full time but even for your on campus and just take that time when you're in india to develop it and come here